Hi, I'm Jacob Cebulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. Welcome back. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create aggregate attributes and statistics from your data. This is the, um, the process we created before, which um, allowed us to retrieve selected attributes from student performance data and generate a discrete or categorical variable uh, from this data. When we run it, we have results and we could readily access statistics of all the selected variables. That means the individual variables minimum, maximum, we could look at the distribution and so on. But what if we wanted to use those statistics for other computations, other processing? Well, we can't do it from this table directly. But what we can do is to create aggregate um, results from the available data. There's an operator called aggregate, which I'm going to add. And this operator allows us to calculate a number of different uh, functions over a specific attribute. So let's pick attribute G3, which is the student's final result. Um, we could pick minimum. We could calculate uh, the, the median G3 average, G3 mode which is the most uh, commonly appearing value, G3, perhaps standard deviation, G3 maximum, and let's also include the count of all the attributes as a percentage value, which will be 100% of course. When we run it, now we can see that um, not only we have uh, statistics available from the previous um, um, calculation, but we have an observation, a data example, and it's a single record with all of the values for different statistical functions. We could do a bit more. What we can do is to identify a grouping attribute. For example, we could say, ask the questions, are those statistics in any way different depending on the student guardian, whether it's a mother, father or some other. And so now we have a table uh, which shows we have three observations, three examples, father, mother, other and then different statistics, the averages, modes, standard deviations, minimum, maximum, and the percentage, which actually shows the balance of all the values. Now we could even chart it. I have uh, pre-calculated or preset those values, so we could readily see a chart, a, a bar graph, father, mother, other, uh, showing the value of the average value. Now those selected statistics are appropriate only for the numerical variable. How about if you wanted to have similar calculations for categorical or nominal variable? Well, let's create a different aggregate and of course we have a problem now because we cannot split that readily and reconnect uh, data to two. The good thing is that RapidMiner provides us with an operator which allows us to multiply the data. It becomes congested with the results so I can actually move the port by pressing shift clicking on the port and moving it. Now let's pick the Guardian if we try to calculate the average, it would fail. We could test it easily. It's not an appropriate attribute. 
But of course, what we can do is to find the least occurring attribute value, the most occurring value, which is the mode, and of course, the percentage. Oops, we missed this. And as before, we could select um, the grouping attribute, let's say make sex. When we run it, now we have a table of statistics calculated for the numerical attribute and a table of statistics calculated for the nominal attribute. And of course we could chart it. Females, males. And this is the end of this lesson. In the next lesson we're going to make some extensions of this feature so we could actually add those statistics to the data and manipulate it accordingly. Thank you.